Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to display a React component on a bootstrap model pop-up. Let's check the final output. When a user clicks this open model pop-up, see here we got the component is opening in the model pop-up, bootstrap model pop-up. Close, open model, close. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. So first we'll create a new React application in our uh, Visual Studio Code. Open file open folder I'm creating a new react.js application in this D drive so let's create a new folder called the folder name is moral pop-up react.js let's browse this folder select folder and here the folder is added successfully let's close this welcome page now right now this folder contains totally empty. Now I want to create a new react.js application in this folder. For that go to view and select terminal. And here we got our terminal which is nothing but a PowerShell or command prompt. And notice the path is the model pop-up react.js which is a folder name we have just created in this D drive. Now to create react.js application first we need to install globally for that Magic package manager the command install iPhone G create react react iPhone app enter and here this package is installed successfully now the next step we need to create the react application in this folder so for that the command called npx let's add this create react app create react iphone app and the application name i'm adding model pop-up model pop-up enter oops here we got the m is small m let's add small m model pop-up component so m is my application name and here the package is installing successfully it might take a couple of times so please be patient to install these libraries into our project and here we got a message happy hacking which means our project is successfully created notice the model pop-up com let me expand this application and notice once i expand this application we got some default folders and files are added successfully now inside this application there is one source folder let me expand that one in this source folder the app.js is the default component the app.js now before adding the bootstrap model pop-up functionality to this application let's check the default output of our app come to the terminal before run the command to run this application first we need to add our application name to this path so cd model pop-up make sure give the proper name to the correct name then the command call to start our application called npm nugget package manager start enter and here we got the default output of our application which is the app.js this component is rendered on the browser now my aim is first i will create a new component in, a, in this source folder select the source folder right click the mouse new file the file name is model 
popup.js model pop.js now when we want to create a component in react.js there are two methods one is a class component and the second one is a functional component here i am using functional component but before that we need to import the react class from the react library let's do that one first import react the class name from the component uh, library is a react library then i'm declaring one function called model popup and this function return i'm adding a do element which is a parent element of our component here i'm adding one simple button element called click and this function export default model pop up model pop column now let's save this file when we want to render this component on the browser we need to configure our component in the index.js file open that one in the index.js file notice that it's rendering the component app component which is a default component but i want to render our model pop component so first let's import model pop from the path name model pop now we can add this component name this component name here let's save this file save all now we'll check the new output i'm reloading the browser see here we got the new output is a model pop component contains a button element now my next step is when a user clicks this button control i want to open a new model pop-up and inside this model pop-up i want to render the app component using bootstrap functionality so first we require uh, first let's install bootstrap um, so control c come to the coding part in the terminal npm install react iphone bootstrap bootstrap enter and see so here the react bootstrap the version 1.4.0 is added successfully if you want to check this bootstrap theme is installed successfully or not open package.json file see so here the react hyphen bootstrap the version 1.4.0 let's close this json file after that um, we require the bootstrap css cdn link also for that we need to go to get bootstrap um, bootstrap react.js css enter and from the search results i'm selecting the get started react bootstrap and one important thing is the bootstrap components or CDN links are free open source we don't require any license to use them and this is the command we have installed the bootstrap after that we require the CSS and this is the CSS copy that one let's add here and now this button and we need to add the bootstrap theme for that open components and the components let's check the buttons here we can find different types of buttons here let's take this button success copy that one instead of this button click i'm adding the bootstrap button let's save this file save all um, we need to import one more component import button from from package.json from this library react hyphen bootstrap copy that one 
between single quotes let's add that one. let's save this file save all let's run the command again npm start see here we got the new output the success before we got this one let's reload this one also we got the new output the success button with a bootstrap theme now after that we require the model also model which is a model pop-up first we define the const model open which is equals to pop-up here I'm adding true and the second one constant variable model open and close I want to close the model pop-up pop-up first I'm declaring another constant variable and array I'm defining a function show this pop-up I'm adding here pop-up is equals to is equals to I'm using the states here so use state parts column when you're using states we need to import the hook states use state now after the button control I'm adding one model element inside this model element I'm adding the model body model dot body inside this model body I want to display the app component so we require to import app from app let's add the component name app component and here in the model the property I'm adding show I want to display show and hide on hide property in adding I want to add this function model close and on click even for the button control I'm adding model open this model open copy this one and paste here let's change the name for the button open model pop-up that's it let's save this application save all we'll check the final output when a user clicks this button control this model pop-up is opening or not with this app component I'm reloading the browser let's check the final output when a user clicks this open model pop-up see here we got the component is opening in the model pop-up bootstrap model pop-up close open model close that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel